So, Mangmube is ready with our hot topic. Yevo, asingene nigu hot topic here to Yanam Slanje. Hi, 326 Express. I am a man aged 53 years old and need your help. I lost my first wife when I was 37 years in a fatal accident. She died upon admission at the hospital. She was the love of my life, my best friend, and we had one child, our daughter who is in America. It took me five years to remarry for the longest time. I was getting into relationships to fulfill my own physical needs, but I got tired, Nelaifi. I started dating a single mother of two kids and married her a year later. I bonded with her teenage girls, and now they have grown into beautiful young women. I supported their dreams and took them to university in South Africa. Their own father refused that responsibility, saying he has another family and other kids to take care of. This guy was saying, Pandaku Shitsai Shakwan. So, my hot topic is, my stepdaughter Uyumuombe Wacho is planning for, to get married in December. She came back home last month and shared the news about a wedding and the plans to make it a destination wedding in Cape Town. We were a little worried about the costs, and she told us that her husband will cover all the expenses. We obviously wanted to meet this guy and requested that we invite him over for dinner. Or Cabrai. Ladies, the man that I saw was almost my age, if not older. He told us that he lost his wife to cancer in 2020 and couldn't wait to marry our daughter. I spoke to my wife and she seemed not to have a problem with the decision, Eitamwana. All she wanted to know was if I'm going to walk her down the aisle and I refused because I'm not in favor of the union. My wife, Akamboeta Tumamuds, Kupopota and all, I see I ended up telling her, Kuti, Baba Vemwana is still alive. He can walk her down the aisle and give his daughter to this man and she didn't take it very well. Problem is the father is in the diaspora and sent word Rekuti to Mirai Mariangu Yekuroru Akwemwana. He also communicated that he is not coming to the wedding. KVG, I'm sorry to say this, but this man looks like a moving grave. Arkutorwara, so why give away Mwana to that man Kudamariere? The wedding is still on and my wife told me, Kuti, it's either you walk down the aisle Nemwana or don't show up at the wedding because Ndini Ndinonyara having both her fathers not showing up for her on her big day. To be honest, I really don't care what I'm worried. I, I really don't care. What I'm worried about is the nature of our relationship and what it means moving forward. After everything that has been said and done also, after everything that I did for her daughters, Am I wrong for not showing any interest in this union and refusing to play the father role on the day? Your e hot topic yet. Thank you so much, Um On 0772 our hot topic on a Tuesday, powered by Plon Motors. This is a stepdad. messages WhatsApp platform Let's get into it. Let's find out who is on line one. Maswera say. The number you have dialed is incorrect. Incorrect. On zero seven seven two one six two six five one, connect with us on zero seven one four four one four four one three as well. Let's find out who is here. Yeah. Hi, Masura. Say. Murumara, <laughs> 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 
said that baba yangu na yewa kenyu muri yekwa kwa zwara mwana uyo apenyu anga sombo ni mea raiti ya kutombo si atombo tore ubaba wa anga ashita wale 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 down the ice uyo yei ya ee ndati mire po position ni edu kana pakura rama kwa ya peyako ndi state father aga support ya mwana uyo na mwana uyo ake kushika wa shikepa wa shikapa yes kwa hindi sabu chukoro jesi ee ee zekuzo famba kuna wali kwa state uka noro wa kaya peyaka keku kaya tizano ngu nao chizwa kuti <laughs> i'm doing the right thing unopawati uchizika po peyapa babate ya usumuka uora mbira na na juo mira pati 